Good morning, good morning, good morning. Oh, did you see that? Well, you could have done if you turned your head round because this is a 3D camera. No, it's not. It's a 360 degree camera, that's it. Slightly different. Anyway, always at the bleeding edge of new technology. Angry goes 360. So, the thing about 360 cameras is it doesn't really matter where you put them down because you're going to be able to see everywhere anyway. So, it's really weird. So you can just like, there's no framing or no composing. And they take stills as well. So if you're going to take a still, then, like for example, you can, if you look over there, there's a, a load of scaffolding up. It looks like they're going to extend that bungalow up one floor. So you wouldn't have seen that normally. And we're coming up to the village shop. The downside is I've got to keep it very snappy because one minute of this 360 video to stitch it all together, render it and everything, takes about, I don't know, it's about 15 to one. So you won't find very many 360 degree videos that are more than a few minutes in length. And that's just because we don't have the processing power at the moment to um, handle the output that's generated. But you can record it and store it so that uh, in the future, you know, when we've got much much faster computers um, a lot of this stuff will be able to be archived anyway look up here I'm coming up to the shop this is my shop and there's a parking space out the front which is good so I'm going to pull in here and then turn the camera off because that's a minute and a half and that's about as much as you get all right see you in a minute this is what I'm talking about you see this thing here is a uh, ad hoc sort of tractor platform thingy with sides which is being towed by a tractor and it's uh, you know I mean they come out every time the same time every day and we just get stuck behind them which is fair enough you know I suppose they're doing the job it's eight o'clock so they must just be clocking on and they take it to a field whatever field it is and then they uh, uh, they put all the stuff in, it's doing a good job of trimming the, the roadside as you can see. They they take all the workers there in it and then they put all the produce in it, bring the produce home and the workers and it acts as like a temporary shelter if the uh, if the uh, if it starts raining you know. So you can see it's very well kept. Now I think it's uh, when they pick in cauliflowers because I think the tractor's got these sort of things on the side that pick cauliflowers. Anyway, this is why sometimes I have a slow drive to work. Right, dropped off something en route to work. Onwards and upwards. bit of uh, trenchant criticism for today I'm going to go back to the LDC the annual conference of local dental committees the sort of annual jamboree where they just uh, all get pissed and treat, treat each other to hospitality at their own expense at the expense of their members and uh, you'll never believe uh, what groundbreaking thing they've resolved that this year's annual conference of local dental committees and that is that they want VAT abolished on AEDs, automatic external defibrillators. You didn't hear it here first. <laughs> this has been in the dental press. I don't know why it wasn't lead story on News at 10 or BBC News but apparently annual conference of local dental committees of all the problems in dentistry have decided that VAT on defibrillators is the lead. So, what are they going to say? VAT defibrillator, a thousand pounds, two hundred quid. They want to save two hundred pounds. They don't. They're not that worried about uh, incomes, pay freezes, fees. I have to go around corners carefully because this camera's not really secured all that well at the moment. Anyway, LDC, just remember, had a lot of promise. Independent committee, could have, could have been brilliant.
could have had it all but neutered by the BDA who insist on doing their admin and organising their conference and as a result make sure they never come to anything. All right. That's it, I have to keep it to under a minute. Or two. Here we go. Come into work. This is not the sort of work, it's not the sort of surgery that you'd expect, is it? And most people imagine. That's it over there. I don't know how this 360 footage is going to turn out. It's probably going to be a disaster. Probably going to be a great disaster. What's he doing with his dog? He's a funny bloke, like that bloke. Right? Hurry! Somebody's here. The door is open. I see him too many times a day, that bloke. It's very strange. Anyway, chez moi. I'll, um, okay, fingers crossed this came out okay. It's only an experiment. I'll um, talk to you tomorrow, one way or the other. Bye.